As we move forward, 10 on your side is your election headquarters. A lot of important races tonight, and we're keeping you updated as those results come in. Yeah, another big talker today, the race for city council in Portsmouth. A judge sentenced Mark Whitaker in September for felony forgery. The city and registrar's office say Whitaker is disqualified in this election, but the ballots were printed before his disqualification. Despite that, many are still standing behind the former councilman. And 10 of your side's Chris Horn is also tracking this race for us tonight. Chris? Yeah, Tom and Anita, fortunately for the election officials, it did not get to the point where they had to figure out what to do had uh, Mark Whitaker been among the top three finishers. However, he did manage more than 8,500 votes. He was disqualified for the reason that you mentioned, that felony forgery conviction back in September. Let's get to the people who were elected. Shannon Glover has never uh, held office before. He is a Navy veteran. He's a business owner here in Portsmouth. He led the way with more than 18,000 votes. He was followed by Paul Battle, who's been in several different departments here in the city, also the Sheriff's Department and the Police Department. And then it was Bill Moody, the five-term incumbent. He was, came in third, so he will be elected and re-elected in his case. Now, in a city where more than half the land is government-owned and therefore not producing any tax revenue, we asked all three of these winners what they would do to attract business to Portsmouth. Uh, I work with businesses every day, so I get to hear their concerns, and I know what they need, and they tell me what they need. So it's going to give us an opportunity to talk to the businesses and listen to them. I've always dealt with economic development, mm -hmm. but the key is education. Mm -hmm. yeah. Education is the key to elevating any city. Uh, approximately 53% uh, mm -hmm. is government occupied, either local, state, or federal. So uh, we've got to uh, do a better job of uh, bringing uh, business to town. Turnout great at Portsmouth today. Absentee ballots running twice what they did four years ago in the last midterms. And turnout at the polls was also ahead of four years ago in 2014. Now Moody and Battle and Glover, they will all take office in early January. Live in Portsmouth, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.